from the office of Fort Bend County Judge K.P. George this week in Commissioner's Court. County Judge George and County Commissioners open Commissioner's Court with a prayer and pledge of allegiance by Commissioner Precinct 2 Grady Prestige. At the top of Commissioner's Court, Nasruddin Rupani was acknowledged for his philanthropic leadership over two decades, which has guided the Rupani Foundation and IBN Sina Foundation, among many other organizations, to create a community committed to working together to improve the lives of our children and families. Following the presentation of Mr. Rupani's proclamation, the court received public comment from Houston Community College Program Director Derek Irvin, providing an overview of HCC's Alternative Teacher Certification Program, which currently has 120 active students and 22 graduate and certified teachers. Glenda Guzman-McCall also spoke on the need to provide alternative certification and partners with local ISDs to address teacher shortages in special education, bilingual education, and STEM content areas. Fulcher Mayor Aaron Goff addressed the court about affordable housing needs, citing that an estimated 1,600 students within Fort Bend ISD and Lamar Consolidated School Districts are at risk of being homeless at some point. Mayor Goff intends to meet with the court at a future date to present a proposal to address this concerning issue. Commissioners approved funding for Precinct 2's mobility bond to increase and provide overall improvements to and near Evergreen Side Roads in the Fresno area of Fort Bend County. Risk management item number 46 on the affiliation and program agreement between Fort Bend County and Southern New Hampshire University drew the interest of Fort Bend County Judge K.P. George. The program will create an internship for qualified students in the field of a variety of risk health and wellness programs, allowing participants to gain practical experience. Director of Risk Management Wyatt Scott addressed the court and shared that the 20-week program has one participant, Meredith Coons who will work with his staff to meet the intended goals of this program. What a great opportunity. We wish you the best, Meredith. The Port of Freeport's Phyllis Stadoff presented an overview of the fiscal year 2022 and shared the Port's strategic initiative for 2023, which includes the Freeport Harbor Channel improvements and Berth 8 projects. This will allow the port to bring larger and more frequent vessels in. The Port of Freeport is the closest port to deep water on the Gulf Coast. Ms. Sadoff concluded the presentation with the exciting news that Volkswagen affiliated brands will be imported into the port and this will create more jobs. Additional good news included an update on the expansion of Highway 36A, creating a corridor from Port Freeport to Brazosport to North Texas Highway 36A Coalition. This concludes your Commissioner's Court update for this week. Commissioner's Court is scheduled to meet on the first, second, and fourth Tuesday of each month at 1 p.m. on the second floor of the historic Fort Bend County Courthouse in Richmond, Texas. We urge all of our residents to sign up for our Fort Bend County Office of Emergency Management weather alerts by going to www.fbcoem.org. Thank you and have a wonderful day.